Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Conard, a family doctor who works with corporations to make sure that their employees and their family members are kept safe. I want to talk to you today a little bit about testing. There are four tests available right now in the marketplace to see if you have COVID. The first one's called the PCR test, and that's the one that we're using the majority of time. It takes about two days to get back, and, but it can be very frustrating. We've had the test take up to 12 days to get back, which is just frustrating as can be. But it's two days. They do a swab of your nose, send it to the lab. They look for two things, a little piece of protein and some RNA, which is a nucleotide, that they do a machine test for to see if you have it in your body. If you do, then we know that you have uh, had an infection with COVID. We don't know if the virus is still alive, but we do know that you did get exposed to virus when I mean, you have viral particles and you were infected. The second test is what they call an antigen test, and it's looking for a little piece of the virus to see if you have been infected different than the RNA and the protein on the PCR test. In fact, this test can be done on a finger stick or it can be done on a blood draw, and it can be done quickly. It can be done in one, on the same day instead of having to send it off for two days like you do the PCR. The problem is that right now in the United States, there are a couple of tests that have come out and we're still trying to figure out how to make them more sensitive and specific so that they actually are accurate. Um, the first three uh, tests that I sent out in our practice to do the antigen test, one person came back with a positive test and the PCR was negative. Two people had a negative test and the PCR was positive. So when three out of 10 of the tests were wrong, I stopped using them right now. But pay attention because soon an antigen test may come out that would be accurate and that would be a game changer because we'd be able to find out quickly if people have the virus. Now your body actually responds to the virus when you get infected and it makes what we call antibodies which lock onto the virus and keep the virus from being able to spread to other cells and eventually kills, leads to the death of the virus. There are two antibodies. One's called IgM, and I think of that like the Marines. They're big, they're strong, they're, they're brave. They rush in to the infection as quick as they can when a, person, when a virus enters your body. The second one's called IgG, which are like the ground troops. And there are cells in your body that can make 500,000 of those a minute. So we're talking about you can really, really have a lot of IgG attack a virus, whereas the Marines they are not nearly as many, the IgMs. IgM, that test becomes positive around seven days after the virus is infecting your body, and it usually dis they disappear about 21 days after the virus has in, in, in invaded your body. Now, those are not strict numbers. Those are you know plus or minus a day or two. The IgG usually appears around day 10 to 14, and hopefully it stays in your body a long time because that confers ongoing immunity to the virus or protection from the virus. And we don't know how long it lasts for COVID. We're thinking uh, that in most people, it's gonna be a year or two at least, kind of like the flu vaccine will protect you for a year or two. So, four tests. PCR is the definitive test, but it takes two days plus to get the results back, that's the swab. Two is the antigen test. They can do that on a finger stick or a blood test, and that um, could be done the same day. But as of today, the summer of 2020, don't really have a reliable one that we know about. Then you have the IgG and IgM antibodies. Those tests too are not reliable all the time, although they're getting better every day. I read an article this morning that there's one that's actually quite good, um, but there are 41 different ones out there, so you gotta be careful about which one you use. And what that tells you is that you have had the infection at least seven days ago if IgM's positive, or probably closer to 14 days ago with IgG, but IgG hopefully will stay positive for a long time. So I hope that's ho helpful. And I hope that uh, you stay safe and you don't have to worry about interpreting your COVID test because you don't get the virus. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Scott Conard, committed to keeping you and your family safe during the COVID pandemic.